Breaking. Sad Chad. Is he just as toxic as Gino? Find out today. Or as you may have already found out earlier, Kevin banned from Kumia. Wow. He surrounded himself with somebody that might be more toxic than Gino Biscotti. Ooh. And I happen to like Gino. Gino's a friend. Your thoughts, Stevie? Everybody's the, tuned in. And in other news, are the Chinese <laughs> evil? Did coronavirus start in a Chinese laboratory? <laughs> I don't know. I'd, I'd much rather believe that. Dude, the podcasting world is crazy. I thought it was uh, at, at its most wild peak during uh, COVID when everybody was retreating to Zoom meetings and, and uh, StreamYard meetings. Now it seems that even guys are just sitting at their house and bragging about it and, and, and making the boss, uh, frankly, to me, it was disrespectful. I don't know how you guys saw it, but, uh, you know, he basically said, I'm, I'm just paying you guys to, to come here, like to have a good time. And I think that uh, Chad may have a lot to do with that, too. I needed, I needed a Xanax after all of <laughs> the drama today, so I'm only really uh, half conscious. Only right. about half of what you're saying is sticking. Let me just go with what I got. The big thing today was that Anthony Cumia was expecting Kevin Brennan and Bob Levy, two of our very good friends, as a guest on his tax show this afternoon. And apparently uh, Kevin tweeted last night that he wasn't coming in. And then Bob texted Anthony today saying he also wasn't coming in. So they both bailed more or less within 24 hours from an appearance and anthony was not happy about it and reacted today on air yeah uh at first i thought he was uh kidding about his reaction and then i was like oh shit he's actually serious and then the balls on chad to actually call into kumi and laughing like a little fucking child like it, it the whole thing just like if i was kumi i would be super pissed off even you know before that happened which he was and at this point, I would just be like, I'm done with all this shit. Like, fuck, like what the fuck am I being? Because that's one thing he's all about. He never wants to be dragged into the, any well, of this it's, shit. It's, it's sad because he doesn't know. He started the show. All, and let me say, okay, today was really fucking insane. I had my laptop open to Misery Loves Company. I had my phone going to Compound Media. I had my headphone going to Compound so I could watch Kevin's show and listen <laughs> to Anthony's. And then at one point, Anthony was watching Kevin's show. So then I was getting really confused as to what was going on. And then at one point, they were watching Anthony's show, watching them, and my head literally almost fucking exploded. Yeah, you don't even need uh, a Xanax for that. Holy shit. There's, yeah, there's a lot of people that would have really liked to see my head explode in reality out there. So hello. But listen, it was a pretty wild day of podcasting. Um, but I wanted to just clear something really quick because Anthony started off his show today by saying, I don't know what between last week and today sent Kevin off. Well, us here who know Kevin Brennan and watch his show know exactly what it was that happened. It was Iraq. No offense, Eric. Iraq reached out to Kevin this week and said, hey, Anthony can't come in last minute. Do you want to fill in for another hundred bucks? Right. About minute. an hour before the show even started, knowing that he lives in Jersey, that he's probably busy. It, it, with it might have been. It might have been like four hours before the show started. I think gotcha. they figured okay. it out. Like around noon, the show starts at four. So yes. Now, Iraq maybe didn't foresee that coming off as a slight. Nonetheless, it was a perceived slight from Kevin Brennan. Uh, it made some pretty hilarious content. But right. then, like, yeah. he has now turned this into you know, uh, a reason to just go nuclear and decide just to say, fuck it, we're not going in anymore. And then Anthony, okay, that was great. You know what, before the show started, I was texting with a mutual friend of ours. Shout out to Marshall Brophy. Uh -huh. uh, Brophe, I, I fucking, I don't, I'm going to fuck up that last name. But anyway, uh, <laughs> we were like, okay, which way is this going to go now? Is Anthony going to just laugh it off like he has been doing a lot lately? Or is this going to be too much? Right, yeah. And it's right away, you saw it was too much. It, it, it was the tip of the iceberg, and it all came hammering down. And uh, and and Anthony is one of those guys, man. Once you once he reaches his breaking point, it's he's it's not a I'm sorry type thing. He's just fucking done. Like he doesn't. First of all, he doesn't need this shit. Second of all, he doesn't want to deal with this shit. You know, if it doesn't directly involve him, he thinks it's funny. But the, I knew the second that he tuned in to MLC and they were shitting on Compound, 
Because it's not like Kumi is watching the live streams, you right. know, when he's not doing other things. So the fact that he tuned in and, and saw him actually shitting on it, he was that's that was the breaking point, I think. But yeah. I mean, enough's enough. Like Kevin wants to say, Gino is toxic. Gino, you know, he gets this person, this person, that. Now look at, I mean, now you're surrounding yourself with guys like Chad, who's just as fucking toxic. I got a quote here from Chad at the end of today's episode. He goes, I want to be at a war with compound media. He like really badly wants this to happen. What little... war? I mean, it, it's, it's, that's the thing about like, it's, he, well, he knows that he's persona non grata. He's not allowed back at compound anytime soon in person. He realizes that. So now anything that could come back negatively a compound is good for him because that's how simple-minded he is uh but you know what listen this is gonna it's gonna create a very interesting little landscape here where now at the end of today's mlc kevin announced that they're gonna go live monday tuesday thursday friday at 4 p.m on youtube mlc so that means that four out of sorry what yeah so so my math is wrong there right yeah i mean four days a week well, Kumia doesn't do Friday, you know what I mean? Uh, and Kevin right. isn't doing Wednesday. So there's a crossover on Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday now. So yeah. three days three days a week, we're at the same time slot, we're going to have Kumia versus uh, Brennan. So that's uh, that's some interesting shit. I mean, yeah, it'll be uh, interesting dialogue. But, I mean, don't you think, uh, For you know, I love Kevin just as much as anybody else. Uh, you know, there's going to have to be some kind of push out for content. I mean, Kumi has always got the news and, and politics and other things that his followers follow him for to talk about. I mean, it can't be Neil. It can't be Lenny. It can't be Compound. And, you know, all the stuff that's every show, which is why we love him, which is great. It's fantastic once or twice a week. But you're talking four days a week. Lenny, Neil, I mean, it's eventually going to dig itself into the fucking ditch. You know, well, Chad, he, Chad, wow. Chad, Chad. Oh, Ray DeVito's here. Cut him loose. Uh, shut that fucking dog <laughs> up. Like, people are going to get tired of the same content. And, I'm, you know, I, I'm not here to shit on MLC at all. But, I mean, four days a week of that, like, there, there's something has to be done. It can't be the same fucking show over and over. We've all heard. I could sit there and listen to an episode of MLC three or four times and not get tired of it. But, I, I mean, me and you guys and people that are close to me in the show... We're a different kind of fan when it comes to MLC. Like, just your regular listener is going to get over it pretty quickly, you know. And I think that's, you know, not a very good. We'll, we'll see what happens. Like you said, it's going to create an interesting dialogue. So we'll see. But having well, having Chad okay. there is a what, what I, Come on. What I say is this is going to surprise some folks, but I do have a college degree. I didn't get one of those 2.7 throwaway degrees oh. like Chad did. Hold on. David Dunder score right, Chandler yeah, underscore I know. one tip I know how to pause. Anthony David Edward Chandler coming yeah. through. Thank you for the support. Well, we love the you're David you're Chandler. Talking, you're talking over his comment. Well, I got to reread it now. David Chandler, thank you very much. Tip $69 says Anthony at war with Chud would be like me at war with a mosquito. Annoying, but one slap and it's over. Right. And he's talking about. Yeah, no, I like I like reading the comment better than the the AI voice. I was okay, slapping okay. shit out of lady. Uh, I changed it. I thought it was better. I thought you liked that one. I liked it the other night. I don't like it anymore. It stinks. Uh, <laughs> you can turn it <laughs> off if you want. Okay. See what I mean? So, I'm, I'm constantly changing the show. The show has to evolve. I knew, but it's still I knew, about I Chad at the end of the day because you know he's absolute right. garbage. And 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 those four so, clips that we will right. be playing. I'll, I'll let you continue your points, Stevie. Those four clips that I sent that we will be playing across this show. So stay tuned in are all about Chad saying he doesn't care. He doesn't care about wars. He doesn't care about shitty podcasts. And here he is again declaring a war on what he deems shitty podcast at the end of MLC. Stevie, you were saying oh, for oh, the beautiful sorry. David Chandler. Was Jesus, Jesus Christ. Yes, thank, thank sorry, you, David sorry. Chandler. It's okay. Uh, My Premiere Pro just, just opened up for, up no, for reason. no reason. It's okay. Oh, we can hear you, Steve. Right. Yeah, we can still hear you. I'm closing yeah. it. Sorry, sorry, guys. guys. when all this is going on, so <laughs> we can just keep, keep, keep moving on. So, did, you, did you forget your point? Oh no, I didn't forget my point. I had a point. It's just I think I got a point too. You want to see it? out right now. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's my, that's fault. my fault. I clicked the, I wrong, clicked the button. wrong button. It's all good. I closed all it out. out. We're, we're, we're back. back. But please, please proceed. Proceed. Um, um, scarcity breeds ingenuity. Uh, competition breeds ingenuity. So oh yeah, oh, yeah. For, for sure. For sure. From the laws of economics, business 101, the fact that we have two competitors going at it head to head, it'll cause likely both products to to rise to a higher level. 
or one to drop off and uh, ex- uh, you know consume the other. So well, right, which is what's amazing about modern technology. You know, back in the day, you would have to pick one or the other to listen to. Now you could just go back and catch up uh, on whichever product. Like today on the way home, I was listening to Kumia as I do every Monday to Thursday at four o'clock, and. You know, it was just it was funny seeing the dynamic from the other side because you know I I always listen to MLC later. Honestly, you know? I think if you take enough Adderall, and I know you can, you could probably listen to both at the same time. And I would, like, Stevie, I would love to, but I'm half deaf. Oh right, yeah. Okay, maybe we can get you like one of those like Joe Biden teleprompters. That just oh, that would work. Everything for him, and like you could like read. Kumia and then listen to to compound. Uh you know, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, but then I don't know, it, it would spoil me because then I would be like, oh fuck, I have nothing to listen to on the way to work the next day. But you'd have to learn how to read too for the first well, time. Well, I I watch movies with the subtitles. People get really annoyed, but they can go fuck themselves. Because we're at war. We're at war now. Because we're with we're apparently the shitty podcast that Chad's at war with. Who the names will? Oh, by the way, in one of those clips that I sent, uh, uh, why do I pod? Uh, Chad is clearly seen saying, "I'm not blocking super chats. I would never do that to you, Kevin." He blocked two of my super chats uh, the night before last on uh, MLC. I put a five dollar one in, and then I said, "Fuck it. Let me. There must be a mistake. Let me put another one in for two dollars." And uh, none of them got shown on the screen. So yes, Chad, if he's reading it, is in fact blocking super chats. So we'll find out uh, when next time Adam is producing the show. I'll put in some super chats, and if they get shown, then uh, Chad yeah, is caught in another a lie, ladies and gentlemen. Caught in another lie. Uh, Honestly, I'm, I'm, sorry, am I, sorry, echoing, am I echoing, echoing still now? I, I, th- I think I, I fixed it, guys. People were echoing before. No, yeah, not, not to you, but to them. I know, I know. I think I fixed the lie, but yeah, let me know if the echo is gone. Sorry, guys. It's okay. Jesus. This is like your mic is high. I don't know. Uh. My mic is fine. Right? Right? Right. I don't know. Yeah. Talk to OJ. OJ is, is actually texting you in the chat, and I'm reading it. Uh, maybe just hit him up. Still, uh, I said the Bills should have won. Anyway, that's true. true. Also, I saw I saw his face the other day. I actually saw his face. So he's a very handsome nice. man. Very yeah. fancy. Very handsome, fancy man. That OJ. I love. I heard him, he buddy. golf's a lot. Uh, I don't even know what the. Fuck. I'm lost right. with this now. I've completely lost my. How high are you? Uh, are you? Are you? Not very war? high at all. I'm just are you at war? Little, are you? Are you down in the trenches with Chad? There's literally like seven things going on right now. <laughs> this podcast. I'm trying to just keep it all in front of me. It's all good, buddy. Um, so normally we have five guys. There's just three. We're at war, yeah. man. No, no. We there's there's the a soldiers. there was a bunch of distractions. It's okay, pal. I'm all right. We can keep moving. Um, maybe get to one of the clips and save us here. We're, we're at war, man. With the shitty podcast, and you know who you are. Well, I don't care. You talk yeah, all this shit. I'm better than ever. I got two bedroom apartment. I'm better than ever. I'm building a studio. All these shitty podcasts out there. Okay. Sign up to my Patreon. The haters. I don't. I don't give a shit. I've never cared. I, okay. I don't. I don't give a fuck. Okay. I, rem- I remember now, Chad. That's I awesome. mean, ski mask. Yeah. Um, the blocking of the super chats right yeah he did this he did the same to me and he tried lying saying that i'm lying and uh it was one of those days where adam wasn't on and i saw he threw a super chat up so then they were talking about why am i garbage or are you garbage are Sorry, you garbage, are you, are you yeah. garbage? Yeah. yeah why am i garbage should be the name of your podcast kevin dump oh <laughs> uh, no i'm sorry that's mean um so you know what that's are you garbage should I, Should I answer? What is this? This would be a, this call. Would be a call. Did you put oh. even the number up? Yep. Yep. I put it. I just right. put it in the chat. Let's take. Yeah, let's great. take a phone call. Oh, I yeah. think I, I did. Think I Go did. ahead, you know. caller. Yeah. Favorite constipated memory. I got <laughs> not so much, but I got you guys on speed dial. I don't need the fucking number. Okay. What are you okay. talking about? Oh, shit. oh wow! Big Best show in the game. game. Quad father. Quad father. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, uh, no, I had a direction for you guys to go in. Uh, like when I saw the MLC was going live at one o'clock today, I just figured that there was going to be some heel shit going on, getting ready for DabbleCon, some like shit talk, uh, you know, so, something to get stirred up like a week before DabbleCon or, uh, instead it turned into Anthony just dropping the fucking mic and ending it right then and there. 
I was kind As of he surprised. Should, I, I think. I, what did you guys think when you? Yeah, but what did you guys think when you seen MLC was going live? Uh, you, well, we've already known. Like he's this isn't his expect. first time going live at the same time as Kumia. And uh, I knew that I knew that he was live at the same time, and I knew that it was just gonna get back to Kumia because first of all, Kumia opened up the show with him not being happy that they canceled a last minute, and b not in a very professional manner. So I knew it was gonna get back that they were also live at the same time, and uh, like, well, all right, let's tune in. And when they tuned in, Kevin was trash in the place, and so Kumia was like, "Fuck it, I don't have to deal with this shit." To me, it's like when WWF Raw is War and WCW Nitro finally came to a head, you know, like you kind of saw that was coming to it. Oh, wait, shit. Ski Mask, you said no wrestling talk on this. This is so gay, dude. I agree. All right, let me see a different way I could put this. Hmm, that was really the most apt comparison I could make. All right, Uh, how about this? Last weekend, 49ers, Cowboys, one touchdown score game, all right? We got two minutes left. In the fourth quarter, right, Derek? Right? Yes, sir. Yeah. What the <laughs> fuck happened? Okay. Yeah. We, well, I was, we and Derek almost made a side bet when you're 49ers. Okay. At least it wasn't a blowout. But yeah, that's what this was like. All right. You got two highly competitive, all right, teams squatting up, and only one side can lose by a touchdown. Okay. And I think right now Kumia comes out on top. Sorry. And you guys until- almost made a. Yeah, you guys uh, almost made a side bet, and you almost a little tiny guy right at the end. Exactly, you yeah, called it. Yeah. Fucking. You guys man. made a side bet, and you also made out. That's what I heard. Yeah, I'd make out with Derek. Why not? It's fucking great. Everybody calls me gay anyway. Might as well be gay, dude. Have you seen the MLC comments? Let me ask Derek while we have him on the line there. Um, Derek, what do you think of Chad's new Mr. Magoo glasses that he's been wearing? Uh, just recent development now that he's got those big giant fucking. Do you think he paid for him? No, you know he walked out of some fucking pharmacy with him on. No doubt about it. There you go. Yeah, but uh, Chad's got Chad's going blind, and KB he's got the shakes right, so he must have like ALS or what's that, Lou Gehrig's disease, something like that. I don't know. They're falling apart right. over there, man. Get fired. Fucking falling no, apart. No. Can't see nothing. Shit's happening, man. Yeah, Kevin, shit's, shit's Kevin doesn't have the shakes. I see Chad is the one with the tremor issue. So let's be very clear about that, that I don't see any early onset. Oh, that's just, temporary, just, though, <laughs> from trying to quit drinking. If, if well, yeah, I know. Easier. Here's an interesting thing that uh, that I came wait, wait, across. Wait, hold on. Hold on. How, how, wait, hold on. It's, it's what now? It's almost, it's almost a month. Yeah. It's the 26th. How long does that temporary psychosis shaking go for in alcohol? Two and a half control? weeks. Two and a half to three and a half okay, weeks. Okay, so that's no longer than it, within that range. Chad. And trust me, I was a full blown alcoholic. Yeah, no one ever disputed that. There was no <laughs> Thank any you. sort of deliberation or dispute over that. I'm not statement. trying to, I'll admit it. I, you know. No, I'm saying no one disagreed with you. Literally, yeah, there was, there was silence when you said that because everyone was just in stern agreement professionalism i love i love that i can drink heavily amounts of alcohol listen i would drink but i have this bus driver job here that pays yeah real well okay and i got a family here i don't want to kill a family so i don't want to get behind the wheel and right, we'll we go well, he, with the clips he's probably, he's probably dragging out his fucking shakes because he i guarantee he's probably had a sip here and there so well, here's what I, here, here's, I know he is because oh, uh, okay. I was listening right. to Chad's uh, Patreon the other night, uh, or actually today, and uh, it was from like yesterday or the day before, and he had to hurry up and hang up his podcast because Kevin's podcast was going to start in 15 minutes, and he needed to go do something. So that we're, to, uh, guys, we're going to have to, so hold on. We might yeah, have to yeah, yeah, that. yeah. What happened? The, everybody's just saying they can't see us, so. Or they say it's stuttering. All right. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just, just restart if you can. You start the stream? Uh, uh, or OBS? Or how does that work? Uh, I don't know if you're able to pick up the stream again. again. We we have have to... Let's just start back over then if we can. That's usually what you got to do, no? Yeah, I can yeah, restart, but I just don't know if I can pick up the stream. Hold on. They're saying it's better now. Hold on. All right. No, I'm seeing a lot of drop frames here. 
All right, we're back on. So it's okay. All right. Listen. All right, let, let, let me uh, let, let me hang up on Derek, Derek here so I can just check it out and listen because I can't do it on my phone. It's gonna go over there. Thank you, Derek, for the call. How big is your piece? Yeah, you got it. Have a good one. Yeah, whatever. Fucking 49ers. Big cock. And now Brad Thacker is cutting out again, so. We'll just yeah. uh, kind of just let's just talk right now. Yeah, just keep it going. I, all right. Uh, the case you know. gets cut out and folks just bear with us at home. I do see Kevin DF is on it right now working like NASA yeah. over there. So. He's working a mess, oh. dude. He's already in a bad mood. He's got his, fucking <laughs> mas- his massage chair yeah. didn't get fixed. He was really looking forward <laughs> to get a fucking back massage. He's fucking pissed. So yeah, now and this listen, is happening. And, and, and prostate massage chairs are not cheap right. or easy to find. Have you ever so, put one around your bag? It, it's fuck. It's, it's got to be the right. T- it's got to be the right setting. I'm telling you. Or either that or those tiny lady Asian fingers. You know, like it's got to be one of the two. Now uh, we were talking uh, a second ago. I was listening to Chad's Patreon, and at the end, he had to hurry up and hang up his Patreon. Uh, podcast early because he had to jump on mlc and tony was like oh what do you got to do he's like oh yeah i gotta upload the show you know he was hanging up so he had 10 to 15 to down some drinks you know before he, he got on mlc we all know we all know the tricks we all know the trades and that's why you know if you notice he's sudden outburst uh, lately on the show and he's you can tell he's trying to uh, keep him his composure straight uh, you can tell when somebody's sitting there, you know, trying to oh, let me make myself not look drunk. Blah blah blah. Well, Dead I away. mean, he's not losing Alcohol any weight. Alcoholics one on one. Well, not yeah, no. Yeah. So, you usually you lose weight pretty quick as soon as you quit boozing, from what I understand. You know, unless I'm wrong on that one, it could be different for people. But I mean, it's different for everyone. Great. I mean, he's saying all sorts of crazy shit though, and I love it. Today he was saying, well, if Eight people like me and four people hate me. Uh, no. uh, what did he say? Yeah, sorry. If eight people hate me and four people like me. At least I got those four. You know, that's right. his little. But, but he doesn't care. Out. He doesn't. I don't. I don't. I don't that's fucking care. Role. I don't yeah, give a it's, shit. It's not eight people that hate you, Chad. It's literally like eighty-seven hundred. Yeah. Have you read the live you, MLC comments? You know, and half of them you block. And then yeah, there's four people that do like you. There's that one crazy lady who now is suddenly hiding. I guess I don't know if you saw that, but uh, cool. I don't even want to get into names and shit like that. But there's a lady who doesn't like you. And she oh like yeah, that's Kevin the one that beats her. That's the one that beats her kids. And, oh, all right, that's not uh, gonna do anything for that. But uh, I'm just saying, that's, that's what I heard. I'm just no, saying. I just love, like, honestly, personally, that's a new thing for me. Seeing people, my these are. Jesus Christ. Um, no. When they protect their tweets. Oh, you know? uh, right, because they got involved with the wrong accounts and, and they realized that people might be able to find out secrets about them. You know, like, either you have shit to hide. Yeah, like beating there's children. No, there's no reason to hide your tweets to put them private unless you've got shit to hide. Yeah. Or you fucked around with the wrong people and now all of a sudden you're finding out that maybe being a miserable, negative fucking whiner and troll and shithead ends up occasionally coming back to bite you. Right. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, so there's only two reasons. Are you a scumbag with shit to hide in your closet? Or have you been a naughty boy or girl and now your naughtiness didn't go unnoticed and people are coming back out at you? That's all I'm just saying. Yeah. I've never, I've never hit in, hit in my tweets. I've never done that. I've, you know, been fine. And listen, also to these people who are now suspended out there, let's go on a little side uh, thing here. Is the audio working better? Does anybody know? I hear you fine. I know. We're, we've been fine on our end. So we're doing a good show between you and I. The show's uh, amazing. I'm are you kidding? It's the best show out there, especially uh, coming off uh, the other stuff. I mean, we are the top notch fucking There's something here. looping. Something, something is playing in the background. Is looping. I'm listening to it live. Is somebody <laughs> have a browser open or something? Or something? I, just I just found, found one. one. There's definitely, definitely some, yeah, yeah, there's something, something looping in the background. In the background. It sounds, sounds terrible. terrible. I don't know. If, uh, am I still echoing now? I don't. I never heard you echoing once. Yeah, this yeah, whole time. You, but it's definitely going over. I'm listening to it. It's terrible. I apologize. I am How bad is it? Yeah, there's like there's an audio, audio playing, playing from somewhere. somewhere. It's not, not, I, 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 think I think I fixed the echo. Am I still, am I still, am I still uh, uh, echoing, echoing out, there? out there? I am Mr. Echo. Let me see. Mr. 
god. Yes. <laughs> the only thing that saved the, uh, Mr. Echo was fucking uh, potatoes. And... Is, is Chad doing this to us? Did he eat? Oh, he I know. Yeah, it must be Chad. Are, are we being hacked right now? Is it not yeah, bad? It's, 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 re it's really, really bad. bad. We should uh, we should <laughs> stop and start again. again. This is really bad. Let's just, just, honestly, what? let's just... Let's just quit the podcast. This is it. Let's just, <laughs> it's the last one ever. Whatever. Right now. Let's just right stop. Here. I'm going to stop screaming and reboot. We're going to see if we can, we're gonna fix, it. We can fix it. We'll be back. back. All right? All right. All right. You want me to stream yard it? Uh, well, uh, possible. Let me, let me see. Let me just, uh, we'll be back in a couple minutes, guys. How that's possible, but we could be, and that would be amazing. Yeah. So people are watching. Uh, yep. Let me look at we're the. Back. Let me... All right. We're back. Oh, we're back. We got nine watchers. Uh, yeah, our podcast failed, people. It happens. We don't have a studio. It's all my fault. Yeah, it's not anybody's fault. It's no, called it's technology, and we're just fault. too old to understand it. Technology's passing me by, dude. All right, you know who technology's yeah. not passing by? Sad chat. Hey, so just quick. I'm gonna do a quick quote retweet. We're back. Everybody else out there in the chat, if you can just retweet this business and tell folks that we're yeah. back on. I, yeah, tell was, these motherfuckers listen, really quick we're a war. i want i'm gonna break the fourth wall i was just acting before and we're not gonna quit the ski mask sad chad show i was just kidding that was the actor acting that that i do i don't uh, even also, know when, when did I you say this i was right as we were, yeah right before it. we signed off yeah oh I, oh oh i oh. got you see i even got you dude I, yeah, you fooled me, dude. I, I took the mask off. I lit it on fire. I'm taking uh, these classes right now, and I guess yeah? they're working. Yeah. What kind of classes? How to steal credit cards? Who's teaching? Um, It's how to stick a guitar into your pussy. Oh, yeah. We were, talk we were actually talking about that uh, while we were in the waiting room. We weren't doing any show prep. We were talking about playing a guitar vertically and having a, the... A woman. A woman playing Yeah, like a Fender Stratocaster, like the end piece like in whatever you can get the picture yeah if the folks only knew what we talk about off air yeah it's uh i mean oh and also i want to address i got a real it looks like a real threatening comment here apparently this is what happens when you fuck with the insufferable bastards podcast and i just want to go on record that i'm sorry i'm sorry carlos danger i'm sorry brian spears i what you do i honestly i think i'm in in fear of my life right now and i should oh. say another another word so that's what i'm just gonna just go with that and who, who glad, sent I'm the message was it a, a, a i nonce? saw in the chat it was very menacing and as a matter wow. of fact it was it, it <clears throat> I, I may have some sort of case here to oh. you know take him and I, I think those forth. guys are kind of close to where i'm at i mean you just give me a drop a pen i'll go i'll go meet up with them have a little chat so. cool, good eggs anyways said uh, why do I pod? Are you still there? I don't see any chats. I don't see no phone numbers. I don't see anything. I'm putting the uh, phone number. Okay, good. Oh my god, I got right God, I was so phone. scared that we wouldn't be able to get our callers to call in about how sad Chad really is because we do have clips, people. We yeah, clips. Just let me activate that again. Sorry, I thought he slipped slip wrists. I literally thought for a second. I maybe. thought he was hanging. All right, call in now. Like Chris Cornell just fucking cooking up a salad. Jesus what? Uh, I'm surprised I'm not drenched in sweat right now. I'm so, why? What are you uh, nervous about? Uh, it's not. I'm it's surprised. just like uh, I don't know. I don't like. I, I don't always sweat like up, Chad, dude. dude. He's like he's 26 up. days sober and still sweating. I just hate, I just hate him. I'm just in. A, I'm 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 in a like a a nice just ditch of terrible emotions of myself right now. I hate. Well, you keep you like keep fucking... taking it out on yourself. I'm gonna put you in a real ditch. <laughs> Uh, oh, um, Stevie Lou, we have a caller. Oh, wow. Go me. ahead, caller. Favorite constipated memory or when your show failed? Hello, caller. Hey, what are you doing? You Looking for some on bills? Podcast the other day? What? Hello? Hello? Hey. Yes, caller, go ahead, Stevie please. Lou on Hughesy's podcast? Yeah, I did. I heard you on Hughesy's podcast with Florentine. I thought it was a great appearance. What about it? Thank you. I don't know. He was talking. He was saying how funny Chad is on MLC, and then he was agreeing with everything Quarantine said about how great fucking Chad is, and com comparing him to Howard Stern and shit. 
Well, well no, I don't, think, I don't think I don't think I don't think Florentine was at all saying how no. great Chad is. No. He was no. he was Hold making on. a point about how guy uh, guy no, so Stevie crazy. was. No, I compared his, his, his words were so, uh, Chad is great on MLC now. Well, a lot of people think that he's great on MLC. No, no, you can, no, you can think somebody's that. good and still not like them. No, but it, Stevie should have Stevie Stevie should have told him the real deal about Chad and like argued with him. Come What's on, the man. real deal about Chad? Why do you have to agree with everything Florentine said? Who is this caller, first of all? Can we please get a caller's identification? I want to come visit you at your house tonight. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Okay, let me clear My up. My name is Jake. Things. All right. Go ahead. From State Farm. Go ahead. Jake, I said it's fun to have Chad back on MLC, and the only reason is because it's like having a fucking clown in a dunk tank, and you get the fucking throw fucking balls at his head and try to knock him out with fucking five dollar super chats and it's a lot of fun because kevin and bob beat the shit out of him and there's nothing better than those guys and the fucking super chats trying to knock this guy off. i feel like they're sticking up for chad with everything with cooney and everything and i don't know i feel like they got his back more and more no, lately and they, every time cooney. anyone says he sucks at comedy he just says oh but gino sucks worse that's his only response no. and levy's yeah, never I even heard his stand-up set I've never said any of those things, Jake. First of all, you're confusing that I compared Joe Rogan to Howard Stern. You think that I compared fucking Chad Zuma? No, but to Florentine Stern? said just like Howard Stern and Opie and Anthony, you don't you don't have to agree with everything the host says. And he was comparing him to Chad, and you said, "Yeah, I completely agree." What's but he was fuck? talking about he was Howard talking about Stern, the antics so about how like he was saying that if you you know you, if you want to play in the mud. Uh, the other person has to agree to get dirt. Not agree, but you're, you're going to get some shit thrown back at you. And a lot of Sorely people don't mistaken. like that. Sorely so. mistaken. And respectfully, respectfully, right. Jay, right. I'm not trying to be a dick here. Uh, but then also, yeah, also, hey, let's pull down the fucking curtain here. I'm on Husey's show. Husey asked me to come on nicely. And I'm not going to go there and be a fucking troll clown asshole when I'm in someone else's house. I actually kind of respect Jim Florentine and Husey. So if you go back and watch that whole interview, I did push a few times. and I did not fucking sit there and just hammer him the whole time because that would have been a bad look. And that would have had me never invited back on Husey's show. And secondly, I fucking see Florentine around. He started off the show by going, Holy shit, I know you. I see you around all the time. We've done shows together. And that's something that Chad must have heard and must have sent him nuts because he's constantly saying that I'm a nobody and no one knows right. me. Right, you only worked a grizzly um, pair. We had fucking Florentine give me a shout out and then uh, a shout out to my new enemy, um, Carlos Danger on Insufferable Bastards. He had Earl Skakel on his show the other day. Hey, and I've had him on my show before. I know you have, buddy, and Earl had nice words to say about you, but he started off the show by saying, <laughs> Earl Skakel said, I'm a fan of Stevie Lou. So again, one of Chad's buddies, two of Chad's buddies are now on public air saying things about me that aren't, hey, you're a nobody, but so whatever. That's, That's called that. networking. He's got a bird is bird, and I'm fine with that, but call her, no. I'm not comparing him to Stern and go back and watch. Everybody should go back and watch the whole episode with Husey. He did clip down the clips into little pieces. And sure, I'm sorry. If I came off as a little fucking agreeable bitch, then I'll take that. And I apologize. I'll be more of a fucking shark next time. I usually am a straight shooter, but I felt like. No, it's shooter. all good, man. Hey, overall. Overall, it was a good appearance, man. You, you, get, you guys had a good appearance on you. You and him are good together. Um, hey, one other thing. How come Chad, he, he emailed Carl five separate times begging to go back on WATP. Carl read the emails on the air. He goes Hilarious. to Chad, and now Chad says he sucks. He, well, he Chad, sucks Chad's because gonna, he ignored Chad's Chad gonna, five uh, separate times. Chad trashes anybody, he, he emailed that, him saying especially when he doesn't get his way. Yeah, and now, now that he won't respond to Chad, he sucks. Anyway, hey, one other thing. Do you have any insight on why Kevin won't bring back Brian McCarthy? Why did he tease us with that one appearance? It was because it, it wasn't his idea. And uh, you know, Brian frankly can't work Zoom. And you know, it there, it was a time and place. You know, MLC constantly evolves. And did I think he was going to ever bring Chad back? No, but he has. And you know, like Stevie was saying, and a lot of to a lot of people's point, it's like having that little punching bag in the corner. If you run out of material, you just you can go right to it, just start fucking hammering on him. 
Why yeah, would yeah, he Yeah, it's just infuriating to hear Chad talk shit on Brian McCarthy when he can't compare to him. He he had you can't compare his humor to fucking Brian. Brian made that show. Anyway, anyway, thanks for taking my call, guys. Thank you for calling cool. in. Thanks, man. Uh, what's the what's the phone number to call in? It's uh, I'm gonna put it in the chat here, but it is nine seven zero two three seven six six five five. Nine seven zero two three seven six six nine five six six five 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 five. Thank you. Five five. And again, I'm sorry, guys. It's all my fault. Um, just to give you, in case anybody un- wants to know, I rebuilt my OBS uh, whole setup and I copied my settings back over, and it just didn't come over exactly no as it should. So no I apologize. There was a fader no that was up one. that shouldn't be up. It was grabbing audio from my GoPro. Whatever. I'm an idiot. You know. You mention it again. So help me God. Well, I'm trying to just take the blame off of, you know, the show and just put it on. I'll put my you in a ditch, ass. dude. All right, let's get to some of these fucking <laughs> clips because uh, Chad apparently do does take not another... care about it. You can play any one do of want, them. Do you want to take another call? Classic. We have a call? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead, caller. Favorite memory when your show failed. How big's your piece? <laughs> and they're gone. Hey, how come oh. uh, uh, Stevie Lou was on QG comparing Chad Zumoff to fucking Patrice <laughs> O'Neal? the fuck was that yeah why were you why were you oh. comparing chad to patrice dude on newsy show i think i did say that i hope he gets diabetes and loses a leg so i what about a toe that. um david tell i got nothing bad to say about david tell let's go on record just right now and stop this madness but um yes i did what do you think you're gonna I, open for him that's a good call thank you for the caller for putting me on blast that's a good call who, who is this oh. calling Hey, I heard I heard that Chad threatened you. He's gonna show up at DabbleCon, kick your ass. Stevie yeah, Lee. well, he was offered some tickets, I think, and uh, he he declined. And he, he apparently has all the money and all the flyer points to fly. But you know, who goes to Rochester? But he said he was gonna sit front row and put his feet up. And uh, yeah, I heard the same thing. Isn't that crazy? No, no. But Chad, uh, Chad was already told by Carl that front row tickets are already sold out, so he would not yeah, be allowed no. to sit in the front row. <laughs> People that paid will be sitting in the front row. Right. Chad, couldn't, Chad couldn't take me with fucking man cow's gun. All right, let's just get that straight over here. Yeah, Chad stinks. We got some clips. Hey, uh, hey. we did. Kevin oh. Dumb fuck. What's up? Are you there, Kevin Dumb fuck? Yeah, I'm here. What do you want? What'd you do to zero zero dark Tony? What'd you do to that? What you hit him with a car? <laughs> yeah, I that? fucking ran him over, dude. Fuck that, dude. I hope, honestly, if Zero Dark Tony is watching this, I hope you're getting better, pal. That's terrible. Yeah, it is happened. terrible. It looks like a very painful situation. No, like I didn't chocolate. do it. I didn't do it. Fuck you, caller. Piece of shit. Who is Zero Dark you Tony? He just com. came out of nowhere. You at Dabblecom, buddy. Um, yeah, um, let's... We can maybe get into that some other time because there's way too much heat. Yeah, I don't even feel like it. Yeah, I don't even want to go near that with a 10 foot pole attached to your dick pal all right so you want to watch this uh first clip here sure whoa why is that playing over there let me change that there we go oh my god we got so many clips because chad just does not give a shit okay let's see what this one is this is fantastic and thanks to the folks for bearing at home uh bearing with us at home oh. yeah thanks for putting your bearings on and bearing with us just rolling on hold on so now that I switched that, that's not 14. coming back over. Yeah. Looks no, like everybody's so. back. We got 38 folks back. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Because <laughs> if you're in a chat room, you're a fucking loser. If you guys saw what these dudes look like, these, these are fucking winners. losers. Say that. Was that the beep you were talking about? Yeah, that was. Losers. 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 They're in chat room. Guys ah, guys ah, that's how I spend my free time. You know how I spend my free time? Pussy. Getting pussy. And I'm going to go do that right no one now. Buys that. Late this year. Yeah. Well, it's no one buys it's, that. It's like 24 days. I'm not oh, ready yeah. to veto. It's been a while, Chad. It's, it's been 24 a days. Time. Yeah. Well, when was the That's last how he time? spends his free time wreck. getting close to you. Last time I checked, uh, doesn't he spend his free time doing live chats, walking around the neighborhood alone? Do, do you ever see him with anybody? Do you ever see him out and about with friends? I don't think this guy has friends. Do you ever see him, you know, like, you know, let me let me take a picture at the bar with some of my homies? No. He's either he's he's always alone by himself. What is he really hiding? What is he hiding? It's something that a psychotic nerd would say. It's like I get pussy. That's what I do. 
so people who spend their time in a chat room dude you you know how many fake we know it's you you type the same it's so easy to fucking dialogue we've caught you in here before leaving live chats it's fucking ludicrous yeah, yeah let's play another clip that wasn't the best one but it's i mean most of these clips i, I just clipped him just really not good. caring what was this oh then he bl- he does blame me at one of these clips he blames uh he does put some blame on ski mask for his falling out with Anthony Kumi. I just want to put that out there. <clears throat> be on it. I go, yeah, that'll be, that'll make it good. <laughs> the sexual tension between but, you and Kumi. You know what's funny is I did <laughs> Kumi a show all these times before we laugh. We had a great time and he's always laughing. We're drinking, but soon as Chrissy and Gino and all that shit happened and the fucking ski mask. Yeah, but he admits it. He admits uh-huh. it. He said that he did that in high school. Because of Chrissy, Gino, and ski mask, you don't get along with Kumi anymore. So somehow it's our fault that you're an asshole and you can't take a fucking joke. Yeah, Kevin went on to say that Anthony even admits that he just beats the shit out of Chad because he's A, easy to beat up on. Yeah. Because he's not there. Anthony beats up on whoever's there. Let me just say that no offense to you, Gino or Chrissy, there's not many decisions that Anthony <laughs> Cumia makes about his personal life that really includes you guys. No oh, offense man. taken. Trust me. That's why this clip's fucking hilarious. Again, don't take that as an offense. No, thing. not at all. How about Chad? Not next time, next time Chad about. calls into Cumia, he doesn't bomb like a fucking Na- Nagasaki. Whatever so. the fuck. I'm bad at history. That's great. And also, it's great. These past two clips, you've got Kevin Brennan, who immediately is like, no, it's not. No. He yeah. He shuts this fucking little toad's bullshit down. I love it. Yep. But, you know, Chad just doesn't give a shit. I don't, dude, I don't fucking care. I'm living my best life. I don't give a shit. So if you're hanging out in chat rooms, you know, talking about me being an asshole, you're, you're just, you're, I, I'm getting pussy. You Let's know, Gino. Huh? Let's keep these clips going. I love it. Yeah, I think we got another one. I think I oh, this one. The next one. This one's not oh. done yet. Uh, this, that was pretty much it. Oh, okay, cool. We'll yeah. go to the next one then. Let's see what we got here. I just sent a couple while I was on my not, lunch I don't break. Like vanilla. I hate vanilla. I'd rather have six <laughs> people hate me and have four people love me. And that was diehard. They will be diehard forever. So I hate on me all. I get. I could give a fuck. Credit cards say it all. Forever. I could give I a fuck. Care. Let get every time on the at the end of MLC when he's doing his plugs, he talks about the chat rooms. Uh, Chrissy Gino ski mask are the reason he doesn't get along with Kumia. And he doesn't. He just doesn't give a fuck, guys. He's getting pussy. He, guys, he's getting. He doesn't give a fuck. So if you hang out in chat rooms, like just sign up to his Patreon. Okay, because that's where winners hang out, not losers with these loser podcasts. You know, ever since COVID started, everybody has their loser podcast. Chad, nobody watches your fucking YouTube. That's why you're trying to do the same thing uh, Kevin's doing. Oh, I'm, I'm going to take my Patreon live, and then immediately after, I'm going to put it on Patreon. No one's watching. No one's watching your live YouTube videos. That's why you're putting it on Patreon to hide the numbers, you phony. Uh, Chad's dumb hat is here, and he says, "Sweet, I'm on the show." <laughs> hey, welcome! All right, yeah, that uh, was we beautiful. Also, so we also I, have. I'm a, trying to. I want to make a montage of every time Chad says, "I don't give a fuck." So, if you people are watching uh, MLC out there or anything Chad's on, and you hear him say the words, "I don't give a fuck," please clip it and DM uh, at Ski Mask Host on Twitter, or you can email at the Ski Mask Collective at gmail dot I'm gonna make it a giant montage. Because uh, it, to this point, anybody who says I don't give a fuck that many times clearly cares. If you clearly also clearly cares. If anybody has any like shit toilet noises or fart noises, you can also please send those over to Ski Mask Collective at gmail.com. Only if they're good. Also, yeah. uh, shout out Carlos Danger and Sufferable Bastards podcast. Once, uh, once you do plug the Ray DeVito beach towel. Oh, yeah. They, so this is, uh, of course, Ray DeVito is in this live stream. If you go to SchemasCollective.com right now, people. Uh, look, summer's right around the corner. we got the Ski Mask Palooza coming up in June. It's going to be fucking massive. It's not going to sell out because it's free, okay? It's just a bunch of people hanging out. Stancil's going to lead the kayaks. I will lead the gambling excursion. But in the meantime, we'll be hitting the beach, so we need the Ray DeVito towel because we all know Ray steals the towels from the gym. So this is, you know, in retrospect, everybody's going to look great with this fucking towel, okay? SchemasCollective.com. I mean, these towels are going to sell out. I'm, geez. I mean, everybody wants this. Look at this beautiful lady right here, okay? She's tanning. She's got the Ray DeVito towel. The sunlight is just bouncing off his glowing face. 
Okay. And then this is no way of like, we're just letting it know that Ray is known for his towels. If I could make baseball cards, I would have those for sale too, but I can't. Okay. That is the Ray towel. Yeah. We sold uh, five Sad Chad shirts this week. Hell yeah. Uh, That's those nice. are fantastic. Just awesome. flying off the shelves. I can't keep Great. my fucking, I can't keep my inventory room up. Sad Chad. This shirts. one right here? Yeah, no, right to the right there. Oh, the that beautiful one. couple. Yeah, yep. beautiful. Yeah, Look no. at this couple. Um, no, nah, it's just merch yeah. mercenaries because we're the best in the biz. Oh, yeah, beautiful. Okay, all right. If it would load, <laughs> my computer's really slow. See, right th now. This is how slow it is because everybody's try, flocking huh? to the website right now. I mean, yeah, it might be. I mean, there's so much traffic there on it. Go, go, go to the one. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Oh, there look, at, go. Look, look at all the colors. Look at all the colors. Look at the, red. it's a fucking colors of Benetton. Ad, no, you know, just scroll United. over the colors. It, it'll change on this beautiful couple who modeled for me in my apartment. Should change. Look at that. Wow. You want red? You want gray? You want white? You want black? Wow. Got all they kinds they of can hold a pose stuff. very well. Jesus Christ. They can hold Dude, a pose. They, I know. I, it was crazy. I had them hold up like a board sign. Yeah, and also, if you go, if you go, go, oh, go really ahead, quick, shout out to uh, Larry Bea and Amanda Gale for posing for those. Yes, uh, thank you, Larry. Thank you, Amanda. Amanda, please email me privately and let me know how his tar paper roll tastes. Okay. Uh, what I heard it was a roofer. What do you want me to say? Oh, thank right, you. Go, go back to the website real quick. There's one right oh, next to it that on. we got to We got to see. Just Pornhub on there. <laughs> yeah, what's browser history? Can you go back to that browser no, history? Fuck that. There, what's no, up? Go, go down. I got go down, nothing go down, in there. Go I, I, my browser the history is my browser history is open. Yeah, you heard that lady was Look gonna that. look at that. There's yeah. nothing. There's no porn in there at all. That's Everybody's all. That's all show of, research. Show Everybody's research. Yeah, Billy mom. McFarlane. Have you heard of Billy McFarlane? The Fire Guys coming out with a new thing called Pirate. I don't of, care. It's Never a heard that name Fire Island. Never heard of it. All right, scroll down. Scroll down. Right there next to the beautiful couple there, you got Chad's Charges. Oh. If you guys want to rock Chad's Charges, we have those uh, on printed tees as well. Uh, Kevin, before he got fired uh, from uh, a Kumia show for $100 a week, he wore this shirt one time on the air. But, yes, there's Chad's listed charges uh, on the T-shirt right now, SkimaScollective.com. Get there now, folks. Get your Chad's Charges shirts. Before, I mean, my inventory room, it's outstanding what's happening in there. Well, yeah, I if you people... figure out. That Whoops. shirt's never going to be on Compound Media again now that Kevin's banned. So this right. is he, he's banned. He's banned for what a week or two, and he'll go back. He's dude, he's been banned before. Yeah, but not like this. No. 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 Really? You think horizons. so? You think this is yeah. the this is the ultimate? Anthony's done with him. Uh, yes. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I just like I, I said kind before, of like, when I think when Kumi is done, he's done. Well, Seb, yes, but at the same time, I think he has a lot of patience for this kind of bullshit. No, he's had patience. He's already been through that. He's, Don't let me come on here as not sticking up for my boy Brennan here. I love both of those guys. Yeah. I have known how Anthony responds, and the way that he responds today was a way that he responds when he truly means that he's cutting someone off. Mm -hmm. okay. You know, he, he doesn't fucking mince words, and I feel like that he felt today that there was a disrespect with the cancellation, you know? Right. And, Again, he wasn't aware that there was a bit of a slight, perceived slight. So maybe that could save this whole thing. If it gets to Anthony, that E-Rock kind of lowballed Brennan with the last minute offer. And again, I don't want to totally crush E-Rock on this move neither because there are a lot of people out there who would say yes within four hours notice and a hundred bucks to do Kumia's show. So it's not like that was a completely uh, thankless offer he put out there but it was maybe seeming to be a little low ball for a last minute fill in a lot of times if you are filling in for someone last minute on short notice they do usually bulk your pay up and they usually multiply it a little bit so if he had said something like hey come and do the show we'll pay you 400 just to cover this because anthony had to bail last minute right then, right then maybe he's not as offended and then maybe he's not changing his mind and not canceling and saying he's not coming in you know so well, anyways, we'll find out the fallout from that. But now the fallout for Chad's a big liar. Play the other clip. Let's find out what Chad's lying about. Okay. I will have the proof this week on the next MLC that Adam's not involved with. When I try don't to put my super on. chats up, they uh, they don't get uh, picked up. Is this the one? Yeah, I think this is continue. This is a fourth. This is the last of your clips, but we're continuing. Oh, I just, I, yeah, I think this, that's the last. No, there's one more clip. Um, I think there was only four, but that's okay. Yeah, this is the fourth one that I clicked on. 
Let's just play oh, the rest of it. I'm not. Yeah, you got to stop that. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah that's that's all we got to prove, me and Levy got to prove to Iraq that we're worth more than $100 a, a week. Yeah. I would never do that. People are pieces of You would of never shit. block Your the Super Chat. They're not saying. as bad as Kumia's, but they do suck. By the way, and, again, and really quick, pause it. Just to be very clear, because I even, as stupid as this fucking sounds, I sent a message to Kevin after that episode or during that episode. I was like, yo, what is this fucking guy doing? He's not blocking us. He's just not putting it up on. Yeah, the I put a five dollar one through, and no. then I was like, "No way!" And then I put a and two dollar one through. Not and, a thing that uh, he's not putting up. That it's not a thing because now he's trying to be a little fucking smartass, and he's not not putting up negative Chad comments because he's doing that. But he's not putting up comments from people like me, people like Ski. You know what I mean? Or other people that he's got other personal beefs with. You right. Know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, that's true. We've got a call. Like, we've got, I, I, sorry to interrupt, but we have a caller on the line. Yeah. Oh, okay. Caller. That's okay. Thank you. That's fine. <laughs> go, go ahead, caller. Yeah, Favorite uh, memory uh, from when your show on, got guys. sat down. Huh? Oh, no laughing. This is a serious podcast caller. I hear you laughing on the phone. Don't. No laughing. Oh, uh, no. I, I, yeah, I'm being serious uh, that Chad Zumok sucks fat. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. But, is that a prank call? I don't think mine. It could be real. Now, how do you know that Chad sucks cock? Can you hang up? No, he's here. Good. Caller. Yeah. Uh, no, I just recently heard, and uh, I also wanted <laughs> to say that I'm 100 percent sure that Chad Zumok made his own wiki account. I just I just read up on it, and um, oh yeah, him being a public figure is just absolutely ridiculous. He said now, figure what, with a hard so R. So you're saying, yeah, you hit that figure pretty hit hard that R. With that R. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get uh, off you real quick. Is it, now, how do you know if he uh, did the we, the Wikipedia? You could just obviously read it and see that he is the one that's coming out and saying all this sh- shit about him. None of it is Can negative. I... He's trying to credit bullshit that he's done, and none of it is even credible. It's just absolutely ridiculous. We, wow. We too, I think I feel like we've gone over this before on this show. Maybe I don't think so. No. His his Wikipedia is very much padded. <laughs> and just to not correct the caller, but to it doesn't give a fuck. Out, but just to like maybe point the caller in a slightly different direction. It's not that he's personally doing it, because if you look at that writing, that's actually kind of well written, well, like there's good grammar, you know. Um, Chad, we've all seen is a complete fucking mouth breather so what he's done is either his agent his manager whoever is for whatever reason still holding on his roommate talent uh is doing that for him because to take it one step further probation officer people are going in and making edits i must say hilarious edits to his wikipedia and then someone goes in and disputes the edit like because i guess he's also admitted to using some sort of like media social media uh scrub reputation defender i think they call what it. a cock um, he probably he's probably on an email list that I tells them when somebody edited his this. shit yeah, you could probably jump in on this one right what, uh well what I, I think yeah defender. i I th- i've heard something I, I know he has admitted to buying followers and that was like his, his excuse was oh, oh but he's got like more a, followers than gino i was in like a competition with sam tripoli or some bullshit it was like some of those like one of those old podcast bets where he he's that was his justification but yeah i don't see him above using a reputation defending uh provider at all he just but i at the same time i don't know like can he really afford it got another caller uh yeah and really quick while we get the caller he was in the competition with sam tripoli but what about sam quadruply oh <laughs> <laughs> all right sorry caller call back um yeah it's not letting me pick that call up so yeah call that's back. that's fine yeah call back uh i wanted to get back to the the, the chad sucking cock but uh yeah this wikipedia thing is crazy that you know he would just yeah. go with like, hey, who... <laughs> they would care that much it's, it's insane yeah, it's great because like he could say like chad had one of the top five comedy albums in 2020 or something like that and someone like questions citation needed there is no way this is by any way possible whatsoever you know there's no 
rating system out there that says that he was at the top five comedy album of the year. He's got more followers than Gino. Uh, I don't know, man. Dude, is, he's is that got, a, I mean, is that a brag? That's what that's, he, Chad was saying. That I But is it a brag? I mean, is Gino doing that he well? Bought, he bought followers and then is bragging about how he has more followers. All right, here we go. Um, Jonathan Todd says, Chad's social blade shows his followers going up hundreds at a time. Clearly yeah. buying followers. So I've seen this. Hey, oh, uh, I'm sorry. One, mutual, one second. A, Stevie, look, can you point your camera down a little bit? So every time I put up a chat, it doesn't just completely block your face. Your face. I mean, it's a little distracted. Perfect. Thank you very much, buddy. I really appreciate it. I've been, it's been bothering me. I've been trying to just find a time to say okay, it. Okay. What else bothers it. you? Get back to the comment. Listen, he could fucking just turn this thing <laughs> on echo again. With one button, I bet. So take it easy for a sec, Ski. I'll end it all right now. I'll just fucking oh. hit the end button, you piece Relax, of shit. Relax, Chris Cornell. <laughs> Relax, Brody. <laughs> oh, oh. Okay. Uh-huh. 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 That's a loud, <laughs> loud here. That's a loud here. Um, can we get to that one clip that I threw to you? Yes. Uh, uh, you Actually, you sent me two, I think, right? The, 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 yeah, first, the first one? one one minute only because yep we got i think an exclusive oh here oh shit now we got a real exclusive let's go check that caller out oh, we got a caller we got a caller Steve. we got a caller oh my god we have a caller hey. caller well, hey how you doing go ahead. i'm doing all right what's going on well, well hey. thank you nothing i just wanted to say hi real quick um i heard about you guys like two days ago and i've been trying to hear everything and I can't fucking go down the, the rabbit hole about fucking how much I hate Chad. This is the best <laughs> fucking show. I'm out here in um in Queens, Brooklyn, Queens, man. I just wanted to shout you guys out real quick, man. You fucking keep up the good fucking work. Hell yeah, wait, dude. What wait, what what do you hate about Chad? That's it? The caller, are you Which still there? Brooklyn or Queens? No, I guess he hung up. Well, Thank you for calling. He's in Brooklyn, Queens. Yeah, thanks for calling. Thanks for the kind words. Yeah, Chad sucks. Everybody hates him. And uh, I mean, it's just proof in the pudding when you read the MLC comments. I mean, I mean really, what else yeah. is there to go on besides these clips? So let's get, I think we have a world exclusive coming up here for the folks at home. If we go to that one minute clip here, new podcast what? coming to Patreon now that I'm working with the Streamyard. I'm going to do an interview podcast. And I'm working hey, on something he's, else. He's working. He's working with StreamYard now. Oh, Look at that. oh my God! Wow! Oh. Wow! Exclusively with oh. StreamYard. Wow! God Jesus damn it! Guys. I can't. I can't fucking wait till I sign with StreamYard, man. Hopefully our show gets big enough we can sign with those guys. Game changing. He figured out StreamYard. He's gonna be doing StreamYard, guys. When is StreamYard gonna sign us? We got Fuck, another. Man. We got. We got another caller. You want me to pick it up or tell them? To yeah, hold on. dude, pick okay. up all these calls. All right, just checking. Uh, hello, oh, caller. Man. Thank you for calling call? in. How big is your piece? How big is your piece? What you asked me this last time, it's Thacker. What's up? Yeah, but we, oh, we need up, to Thacker? know an update. Has it grown? Has it shrunk? How big is no, your piece? It's, 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 it's the same. It's okay, good. And, well, we, and first you, of all, you. how am I supposed to know hey, it's Thacker? Uh, I'm going to ask everybody how big their piece is. <laughs> hey, just real quick, I know for a fact he writes his own Wikipedia page. Like, I, when I was still, like, kind of friendly with him, like, I literally have le- legitimately seen him, like, Logging into the Wikipedia page, I also know for a fact because I was the person behind a lot of those edits, and like literally, wow. like they would last for like a couple of days, and then he was on to me, and they would literally be up for thirty seconds and then taken down. And also, <laughs> real quick, my phone's about to die. Uh, I am definitely blocked from any kind of live chat, super chat. I tried to pay a twenty dollars super chat the other day, uh, telling him I'll see him in Cincinnati and say all this stuff directly to his face. Well, and it didn't show up or anything. Well, like you, that, know, so. you know, he has to actually <laughs> choose the super chat to actually display, right? So yeah, you, oh, you said he can't that, comment. I don't know how that shit works. Yeah, so. you're, you're, I'm saying your super chat went through. You might want to do a chargeback and get the money back if you didn't get your super chat displayed, which is what a lot of people do. I don't. Well, I, don't I might I, do that. I didn't know you could do that. Oh, yeah, you can totally do that. You could charge all I want that my shit seven dollars back. back. It's it's actually a very um. It's like it's a it's like an attack that a lot of people do on streamers. So don't do it. You oh, know, really? haphazardly. But in this case, if you didn't get what you paid for, do a chargeback. You get your money back. Can yeah, I uh, then, uh, ask Brad? The other thing I was going to say, oh, I'm pretty damn sure that MLC is going to go over to that Shuli network. I don't know what you guys think, but I feel like that's that's definitely in the air. I don't know why Kevin would. I mean, he's got enough Patreons already. Ke- well, Wait, you think I Kevin would, would say, go to the Shuli yeah. network? Is that what he said? 
Yes. No. I yeah, strongly I so. disagree. I, don't know. I just have a feeling. I strongly disagree. I don't think it's out of the realm of possibility. And I will also say that that show Men Are Talking um, had like 25 viewers a week ago. Suddenly they're on the Shuli network and they're getting a bunch of views. So I will say that there is a Shuli effect in the positive direction if you do join the Shuli network. That's, what I see. that's kind of like the kind of what I was going with too. Like that's kind of like where I'm coming from with that. So that's, that's these, cool that these are the kind of guys that will put, you know, they'll put their reputations and their personal squabbles to the side and just go where the money is. Uh, I don't see Kevin so doing that. That's a, good call. that's a good call from Brad. And Brad, while I have you here, I had one question, right? Now, say we could get you in a time machine and you could go back to when you were living with Chad. Would you break oh, I up? Lived a bunch with of... him. I've worked with him quite a bit. All right. Well, you were working with him, and he was like, maybe like going to lunch or whatever. Would you be able to go back in time and like break up little bits of glass and sneak them into his mashed potatoes for us? Glass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would love to do that. Honestly, don't I would do that. Back in time, and like I've never even Listen. fucking met the dude, and I don't know who he is. Like I would love for that to happen. And a lot of people are like, oh, you know, I go back in time, I fucking kill Hitler, I'd save Lincoln, you know, we want you to go back in time and we want you to, to kill Chad. Uh, you know, this is on YouTube, right? This, yeah. is, his, this is his mission. Do I know I'm going to go back in time yeah, and yeah, jerk dude, myself off. <laughs> All right, my phone's about to die. I love you guys, man. You guys are great. The right. show gets better and better with each episode. You guys are killing it. Way better than MLC today. Except, except this episode. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thanks, Thacker. Take it easy. Go charge your shit up. Thacker, maybe Punch I'll it come out. In. Punch it in, baby. Yeah, thank you, Thacker. Thacker coming and... in with the heat. Thank you. Thacker, and, maybe and... I'll... And... Thacker, maybe I'll come to Cincinnati and I'll come meet you face-to-face and kiss you on the mouth. Oh, I like that. What are you... What are you... I was doing the thing that he was doing to Chad. That's what he was trying to say in his super chat. Uh... Chad, so I was trying to... Uh... Lots of good things coming. Get on the Z train before you Yo. go run the fuck over. <laughs> Patreon.com backslash sit down Zumok. Why is it called sit down Zumok? What was that? Can you, can, you, can you clip that later on at some point? Absolutely. Lots of lots of good things coming for the Z man or just, whatever the fuck that just remind me, Just remind me and I'll clip it. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah clip it and put it as a drop. Clip it. Train. Come on. Clip it. Clip it, cut it, tweet it, dude. If you motherfuckers aren't on the Z train, I don't give a fuck. Like the haters, like right. you need to hop on board the Z train. So I've signed I my stream this, yard. I stopped this enough. Let's get to this. This is the exclusive right here, folks. Listen to this. This is world renowned, people. Here we world go. renowned. Z train. <laughs> there we go. Now now I'm uh, Kevin. I have my headset. My ultra yeah. my ultra Are high you on quality. The Z train? If you're not on the Z train, I want you to very professional headset. Why does he not listen to anybody that tells him to get a real mic? Or get on the Z train? <sighs> how much how much are the tickets for the Z train, Stevie? Oh, not much. Not much at all. <laughs> are they giving them away? You can get them with uh food stamps, as a matter of fact. Motherfucker. EBT I'm card. Right. I don't have those. EBT card, whatever you need. I don't have those either. All right, let's get to this world exclusive. I'm, all right, let's go. World exclusive, because people. My seventh grade teacher, Mr. Willis, yelled at me on the field trip to Washington, D.C. I was standing in the bus, and he said, sit down, Zumok, and it haunted me my whole life because Benji wow. Wolf, Ben Wolf, my friend who was a former FBI agent, recorded it on his Sony yellow waterproof Walkman, and it was infamous. So anytime I would walk through the halls, you'd hear, sit down, Zumok, all the way up to my senior year. So that's why the podcast is called Sit Down Zumok. Not because I sit down with people. It's because of something that happened in my past. What? There you go, folks. So that's the... I'm choking on weed over here. Sorry. That's the exclusive. Is that he... Um, that's how he got his show name. I was really ready for that answer with way too many details for that story not to be bullshit. I mean... Well, I, to, I think he thought uh, it was profound. It, yeah, but how think, does he how does he remember the color of the Walkman and that it was waterproof? Uh, dude, but in the every, no, grade? no. If you've ever seen a Sony waterproof Walkman, Is it they're bright yellow. They have the clippy thing. I remember okay. it to this I'm day. Wrong, yeah. wrong. No, I remember See, it to this right. day. Relax, you f- old fuck. This was also he was doing some sort of 
self-care, self-help. This was like Yeah, was because he got a little upset there at the end, therapy. almost like Mr. Willis yeah. touched him in the wrong way, you know what I mean? Terrible things that happened to him in his youth, like someone oh. told him to sit down, his father wouldn't take his keep his hands off of him, you know, like all these stories that about this poor baby boy Chad that like everybody has to feel real sorry for. You know, it's all just a sad, sad story. So Yeah, Age of Quarrel's right. Chad is boring. We're, kind of, we're, we're the we're, we're the we're whatever the teacher's name was. That's what Mr. We Willis. I, or maybe Mr. that was his real Willis. stepdad in the story. He didn't have when a stepdad. He, well, you're right. When he hears us talking about him, he sees Mr. Willis. He sees Mr. Zumach. You know, he sees uh, Kevin Brennan. Dude, you know what I would do, Stevie, and and uh, why do I pod? Guess you know what I would. You know what I would do. You know what I wish I could do. Joking over here. <laughs> you know what I would do if I could go back in time. I would give Mr. Willis and Chad's stepdad two tickets to the Z train, people. That's right. They're going to be hopping aboard. Two tickets to the fucking Z train. What oh, I would boys, do. Boys, thank you, I, sir. Uh, I can, ask, can, can you back off the mic a little bit? Get on it. Thank you. you can get your mouth on it. Like, come on, get you. You're just kind of clipping a little bit from your audio, from your audio interface. So I, I thought it tell. was perfect. I thought it sounded perfect. Much better sure. there. Much better there at that distance. Listen, let me get us back here. I would grab Mr. Willis to the side and I'd be like, hey, man, you see that little Zumach kid? Stop he, raping him. Here's a bag of broken up glass. What? If, what? If, what's it, with the glass? Slip it into his mashed potatoes. You, what, Dude, you got to stop doing this. This is not good. You cannot do this on YouTube. It's going to get this channel a strike. You cannot uh, add. You cannot. Um, not add. Whatever he's trying to say. You can't, can't, can't promote fucking know. people this putting glass in mashed potatoes. A- this it's is a, not going to uh, be good. I'm an author. I'm an author, and these are books that I'm writing. Okay, well, then talk celebrate. about your book, your hypothetical this, uh, fictional exactly. book. Thank you, you for reminding me, bro. As an author, I get scatterbrained, you know? Uh, I go after people's families and weird I thought that shit. was drugs. Yeah, I thought it was drugs, too. Bad well, with two Ds coming gotta, in. Sometimes you got to offer up, buddy? a real nice amount of Coke, too, you know what I'm saying? Oh, oh, you got a rail for me? I'll rail you. I'll rail you down. How, how? What's going on over there, Stevie? Are you all right? You do some MDMA? I can't. Oh, there's, somebody, there's somebody here. Not be gay. All right. Tim Downs. Uh, what's up with the other clip that we got? Uh, for, you know, so basically from this clip, what we know so far is Chad signed with StreamYard. He's going to be working with StreamYard exclusively. people. He's going to be doing one-on-one interviews exclusively with the two people that he knows in comedy who actually still respect him. I guess. Uh, and what else do we know? That he got called sit down Zumok because somebody told him to sit down on the school bus and it's terrified him his whole entire life up until he was a senior in high school. Uh, yeah. When I was his age in the seventh grade, I was already smoking cigarettes. I don't know what he's all worked up about somebody telling him to sit down. What a pussy. All right. But what's the other clip we got going on? Yeah, this one is really funny. What I thought was brilliant where just kind of notice how many times Chad like trips over his own words and just like confuses people. He like shout can't out even Earl's say the word. Oh, Earl's on the home. What's up, Earl? Shout out Earl. Earl. Sorry, I had to interrupt. Beautiful. Yeah, you know you have to interrupt if Earl Earl's says anything. in here. Yeah, he deserves Stop it. Me in my fucking tracks. It was no disrespect. It was life. all respect to Earl. So. What are you a train conductor me? now? Listen. <laughs> <laughs> did you upgrade from the bus? <laughs> yeah. You do some Driving training trains. courses? Stop being at tracks. I took the monorail test the other day. I'm waiting for the results. One rail? Monorail? That's fancy shit. That's like Disney yeah. World. One big 9.5 inch rail? No, that's what it's like when I hang out with you. Only monorail because you've done all the rest of it. Shut up, Tim. You piece of shit. So, Troll. Um, was that for yeah, me? or No, was that was me. Uh, was that a J joke? No. They just this they told me to shut up. We got this guy just he calls himself a professional, but Ew. he literally like just is oh, yeah. over his words. So it's a minute clip. Uh, yeah, he recently signed with YouTube too. Obnoxious say, John has to point that out. Turn it up a little bit. He can't say in hot water. He call he confuses Jim Stansel and Kevin Brennan. It's like he calls himself this professional broadcaster, but if you listen to his broadcasts. He's constantly fucking stammering. Oh yeah, and 
fucking fallen over himself. Like, Sounds he sad. <laughs> Very sad. And it, watching him like read the chats and all that is just so. crazy. Oh, hold on. Yeah, we got, me, we got a couple. Guys, uh, we missed a couple here. Um, we've got a tip from Anonymous. Four dollars and thirty two cents. Thank you very much for the boys. I saw that one. Uh, so I didn't because I muted. You told me to mute the alert, so I didn't see it. So I just want to call oh. these people out, and make sure bad with two D's, and thank you. I already for $5. Yeah, shouted them out too. I yeah, saw that one. yeah. Well, I I was thought you were talking about the chat, so I was looking at the chat, and I was like, I don't see him saying anything. I know. Sorry, I got like a million yeah. things to watch here, so uh, I muted the alert. So just wanted to make sure we recognize no, those people. That's cool. That's cool. I was just mo mainly talking about the lady reading the stuff that they write. I got like to clip up. Stuff. Let's tee it off. Let's tee do a show with Shuli. Of course. Shuli's great. He never asked me to come on a show, though. I don't understand. Wonder why. Wonder why. I've been friends with him for a very <laughs> long time. I don't understand. All right. I think he's being uh, cheeky there. I'll give him that. I think he's being cheeky. There. Really? You think so? I, think I don't think he has the ability to be, but I'll give him the benefit. He's of that. not as dumb as you guys think. I, no, I don't think he's dumb. I think he's uh, angry and stubborn. Sad. And sad. I don't think he's as... Uh, well, it's not like a stupidity thing. It's like he just can't like lean into the fact that, that he is a low cow. That wasn't where I was really focusing on, but that was hilarious, so I did leave that in there. All right. Let's keep going with this. Shout out and tired. I'm 42 and I wear glasses now. I thought it was 48. I fought the good fight, but the vision just went. He was 48. You may have diabetes. Let's hope. Did he say 42? No. Oh, somebody just, commented. You guys that. are both tripping over this fucking clip. Oh, Someone commented let, saying, I am 40. I'm not okay. tripping. I'm sitting down. He's wearing these very funny, like I call them. Uh, what was the guy? From Readers. Casino? I had it. Robert before. De Niro. Yeah. What was his character? Ace Raw. He looks like Ace Ace Rossi. Ace Rossi with his <laughs> giant fucking mag magnifying glasses that he's wearing all of a sudden yeah. out of the blue. Uh, poor guy is losing his sight. I mean, I don't want to see him. And people are like, oh, where's Brian McCarthy? Don't worry, folks. You'll have a blind co-host at MLC in just a few more months if this shit keeps going the way that it's going for this guy. So I don't want to see that happen, but I'm just saying, whatever. Uh, so She won't be able to read yeah. the credit card numbers. Wearing these glasses and people are kind of bugging out and people are saying maybe you have diabetes. And that was another thing where I think the other caller was ripping on me because I, he's claiming that I compared Chad. Whoa, angry, oh. self-centered, no self-awareness, but also dumb, David Chandler says. Thank you very you know, David much, Chandler, David Chandler. I think you're fucking right. Thank you, David. He I is love. angry. He's self-centered, doesn't care about anybody but himself, but he doesn't give a fuck. Am I, I right, David? He doesn't give a fuck. And the haters, they join the Patreon. I just signed with StreamYard, but the haters, but I don't give a fuck. Listen, all these shitty podcasts out there, you've had your time. It's over. It's my year to shine. I don't give a fuck. Oh, well, Gay, Gay Zumok says the glasses shield my eyes from the jizz. Brooklyn slash Queens. Thank you. The world needs to know Chad is a douche. You know what? Absolutely right. $10 says the world needs to know Chad is a douche. Oh, and thank we're you. at war. We're at war with the world. So thank you, Brooklyn Queens. Yes, you're right. It, it, Chad is a fucking douche. All comedy club managers should be watching the show right now. Just uh, have him on the radar. Yes, David Chandler. Very accurate. Uh yeah, what were we going on right before oh, that? I clip. had a very oh yeah, this clip. Oh yeah, it's fucking That's readers hope. on. Oh. Still got smells his fingers see. after a groin scratch. Yes, Phil Walsh. I don't know. Gino annoys the fucking piss out of me. He's annoying. I can't watch more than three minutes. His shtick is old. He talks about the same shit over and over and over and over. It's a broken record. So do you. I don't understand well, how go, anybody can in like in hot water i don't understand how anybody can watch that each and every day it's a piece of shit show he's having his listeners on his co-host the jim stancil who works in a fucking hockey store he doesn't have professional comedians whether you like me or not i'm a professional comedian and jim or i'm sorry kevin brennan and, and bob levy know <laughs> that i'm a pro the people we talk about we know and they know us we're not just some fucking come by night piece of shit podcast trying to jump on for page clicks we are relevant. Right. We are in it. Pause it. Yeah. He goes, come by night. That's not the, it's fly by night. Chat. Yeah, Nobody page clicks. By night. Who's coming by night? He's hey guys, just, click on my well, page, it was please. A, that was C-U-M by night. Yeah. So right. come by night. The guy calls himself a professional and then stammers over the immediate next sentence. It's fucking, you can't write better shit than this man i, love I know he watches this show too because you guys notice he changed his hat 
Oh god, dude, I I have a bunch of fedoras, and it makes me never like not this hat, but the one he wore in the previous clip makes me never want to wear a fedora. Even as, I like, told I you, do. that's why I was making fun of you for it when you wore it. Uh, he ruined it for me. I was trying to like hey, fit in with it you guys. You guys got wacky asshole. hats on and shit, and he just ruins it, dude. What a fucking piece of shit. Yeah, he's steering the ship when it comes to hats. That's about the only thing he steers. Oh, oh Vinny, my God. Whoa, Vinny, Vinny Cash. Cash coming in hot. Jesus Christ. Whoa. This, this is... is the only show that matters, Vinny. You're absolutely correct. Uh, listen, it, you know, from the great state when, uh, of course, Chad's doing a fucking he it. it he tried to tell Ray DeVito how his dry bar special was going to turn out. Like it was going to be a big piece of shit. Trying to make his look good. What a fucking asshole, right? I thought, no, he, I thought they, we, he was, he, him and Ray were like boys. They started I, comedy on the same day. I don't give a fuck. He's a, he's a vindictive, uh, ornery, bitter. Ornery, over, ornery Adams? Yeah, so ornery, I got something, I got something bitter. On that one. Old so, man. Chad took one of his self-imposed social media breaks going back maybe about eight months ago. He was really, really steadfast. This is it. I'm fucking deleting Twitter, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I and remember then, talking about it on SMC. We made bets on how long it would last. Literally like six or seven days, not even. It might have been a, It might have been four or five days. He's back on Twitter. Reason being is because he's got this big dry bar special that he had to promote. Mm-hmm. I remember that. That's that's why he had, you know, culpable deniability as to why he came back, even though he said he was going to be a real fucking hardcore, fucking devout non Twitter guy. So he was really gung ho about this dry bar special. He was saying how it was going to make or break him, and it was really huge for a lot of people. Oh, massive! Wow. Suddenly, fast forward to Ju- the sold out January 2023 when Ray DeVito has a dry bar special. It suddenly doesn't mean shit and it's nothing and it's no big deal and it's a hassle and you know it was a nice experience you know i've already spoke about my opinions on dry bar comedy i think it's one of the lowest forms (laughs) of entertainment and they're a bunch of lecherous scumbags and that the uh, organized religions are terrible but the mormon religion the mormon religion all deserve that noise in the back of their head. I think I could say that, right, Kevin? Because uh, yes, you, you can allude to part it. Of my movie, because it's part of my movie. So, yeah, exactly. So uh, <laughs> I'm stealing that from Gavin McGinnis right now. Thanks, Gavin. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, this Mormon shit's got to go. Anybody who did that, shame on you. Uh, and as a matter of fact, I think that I can plug Insufferable Bastards this Saturday is doing, I believe, a live recording of we're going to do a Ray DeVito watch along. Oh, so, nice. So, uh, Carlos, Danger, get your towels ready. Yeah, they're they're the they're big Ray DeVito fans. Uh, or like, I know at least Carlos oh, is. Oh, and listen, I used to be a big Ray DeVito fan. Oh, what, what happened? happened? What happened? You no, know, this is sad, Chad. This isn't um, sad, Ray. No, I was gonna say something better that went with Ray. This isn't gay Ray. Gay right? Ray, there you hey. go. Hey, yo, look right. at you. That's not right because there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong oh, with that. Oh, and then look at him backtracking immediately. I like Professional that, comedian. Well, that's also going to get us kicked off for YouTube. I consider that. Ray a friend of mine. Don't trash my friend. And the gays are a friend of yours, too. So that's very so? interesting. You They're cool. No, they got funny people. stories. Listen, I like friends. So we all. Right, here we go. Have- Sorry to interrupt, yeah. but Scott Fitzpatrick says, you guys are starting to make me hate myself for kind of liking Chad. Hashtag, hashtag hanging, hanging chat. chat. We're doing our job, folks. We're Look, doing we're our job. Lord's work. This is what we do every Thursday at 6 p.m. Oh, because yeah. it must be done. If you guys want to know what's the problem with me and Ray, you should probably, I'll save that for Saturday with uh, Insufferable Bastards. Yeah, I'll tune in. So tune into that. They're going to be doing a live viewing of Ray's dry bar special, which I guarantee if, if is. The boys are watching and they want to post more info if that is actually going live on Saturday or if he's taping that live right, i'm right. not so sure but uh keep an eye out for that that's good. yeah keep your eyes peeled motherfuckers yeah. i'd sub to gay ray wait a minute whoa good one i like it you know, uh, listen, I, I, can, I can go back and i'll give you a little piece one of the reasons do we need it I mean, you want a little piece or you want a big piece no i mean i want your piece okay. I'll, I'll yeah I'm, I'm, yeah where's it <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, uh, don't get us canceled uh, off YouTube. Don't 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 worry about that. I don't like this way that Ray has come crawling back to Chad after all the shit that Chad fucking pulled with him. And how's now he crawling back? He's back, buddy, buddy, with them on NLC. Whenever it's a Kevin. show. Hey, yeah. listen. I I don't back. know. There's still uh, there's real still animosity. Soft. He came back real soft. You know what I mean? And uh, Ray's a yeah, good listen. dude. Another Ray's thing too dude. is that Bob Levy said he's not doing Ray's show no more. Man, you know that's pretty. He's hard. not. He's also not doing Kumia either. Hey, oh, that's not correct. Let's correct ourselves here, Ski Mask. Kumia did say that. Well, I heard uh, that. Yeah, I, yeah, I know. Kind of stuck saying. in the middle here. Now, I have to say that it's probably slightly awkward right now between Bob and Anthony, but I do also know that Bob is one of the nicest and like level-headed guys right now in the game. So I know Bob will be able to fix this situation and it's not even really a situation between him and anthony and play it well you know um, 40 degrees like, and cloudy like today like breaking this down this is like we're fucking breaking down a big playoff game because shit was going down left and right today people were fucking throwing hail marys they were out of bounds yards you know what i mean people were getting pushed out of bounds Four out of five flag, field goals made flag crazy thrown. fags were thrown flags were thrown yeah um, there was chad it was just like i wish chad kind of spoke up more during the whole kumia call today i want to say that one thing chad kind of just called in and sat there he's like a pussy a yeah like a pussy dog like i know that it's he, dude really when he called in he was laughing like a seventh grader prank calling the plumbing store it was yeah. embarrassing for chad and embarrassing yeah. for mlc and i'm allowed to say it i was one of the biggest fans so is it the whole thing was just it was a bad look and uh we'll see what it goes on from there I mean, horrible look, especially for somebody like Chad. Let me throw myself in the middle. Oh, my God. People are going to see me. They're going to hear my voice. <sighs> Another bomb. Another bomb on Kumia. But uh, I've, I've done a show 10 plus times. You know, with Gino, with Chrissy, and, and the ski mask guys. You know, now I'm all of a sudden persona not grata, but I don't, I don't give a fuck. So enjoy your 10 minutes of fame, you, you shitty podcast. It's actually right? my cousin. It's my, my Jewish cousin. Levy Stu. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I heard he signed with StreamYard, like Chad. Yeah. Sounds delicious. No, he, he signed up for StreamYard, buddy. You misheard him. He didn't. No, say he signed he... with StreamYard, dude. That he's working with StreamYard, man. I mean, he. What does that mean? He signed up for StreamYard. Is that what that he means? Signed, he signed with YouTube, man. <laughs> YouTube signed him, bro. So he signed up for YouTube. Is that you, is he, he missing a word by he, YouTube? I think he's he missing signed by up. StreamYard. That's why he's gonna have a brand new show coming out where he interviews people one on one because he is working with StreamYard now. It says he doesn't know how to work technology, but he sure knows how to not put super chats on the screen. Hey, am I right? <laughs> yeah. Wow. I mean, he's like you. He, I think Stevie said he's not a complete idiot. I mean, he's dumb, definitely dumb, but he's not a like a complete retard. An imbecile. Uh, yeah, invalid. Isn't that what the, the what's it called? Invalid. What's going on? You're looking at your bus schedule. No, my dog. Yeah. My dog made some weird noise. I was looking at him. Hey, shut that uh, fucking dog up! Shut <laughs> the fucking dog my, up! My fault. my fault. I had an emergency here, but it's all good. We're good. Emergency. Thousand milligrams of vitamin C and zinc. Yeah, that that. Yeah. All right. Um. So those were my clips. I think right. Mm -hmm. I only had two. We played, played one. Um. No. We played no. We played two. two. Cast coming to Patreon oh. now that I'm working why? with the Streamyard. Oh, what the? Stop. Why is it auto playing? Oh, he's working with Streamyard. <laughs> That's right. It's auto playing. Yeah. It's uh. We. I think we played both of. Them. We still have a little bit left of the second one. If you want to finish that off. Yeah, fire it up. All right. Top them off, baby. We are respected and we are feared. What? Just setting up and achieving goals. Achieving goals? Ron Kenny says, I'm waiting for my wrench to keep the peace in the chat. It's time to get some crepes oh, winning. Don't bring back old memories. Yeah, All right. I think this is one. Of, I think that's a very good example of how bad he is at broadcasting. Is he's goes yeah, let silent. me just sit here alone and he, read the chat. Yes, he can't. But, riff. but while I'm doing that, let me tell you about my future shows. But he doesn't when even I'm with Streamyard. He doesn't even yeah. do that though. He doesn't even riff. He goes completely silent. Then he reads it. Then even only recently he starts to actually read it 
you know, audibly because you he Glasses. used to do, he used to just read it silently and then respond to it. So if you're listening to it, you have no idea what the fucking question was. You have no idea what the original comment was that he was responding to. He just goes, ah, the fuck other, you. Ah. It's just, it's, the other part of that was that, that he doesn't was, give a fuck. You know, yeah. That was that was also he was talking he was reading a comment of someone desperately asking for attention and being like oh can I have can I have my can I have my own <laughs> show no you're fucking shut up bro Shh. Oh, this is so stupid you don't listen to me uh, that was someone commenting saying hey can I please be a mod for your chat oh you know I wish you'd listen to me and let me go with that one instead of going awkward. That I was zigging and you zagged. It's all right, bud. You what know. are we, rolling papers? <laughs> I would do that because you know me. Um, what am I? What am I? You're a bus driver. No. Well, yeah. But I'm also bus. on I'm... the wrong side of the tracks. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You do. Don't you smoke the, the, the devil's lettuce? I'm into it. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm in, I'm in. Does your mom know? That's me laughing. I mean... If anybody reaches out to her, if any of the fucking trolls, oh, no, I should have even said that. I just opened up. <laughs> okay. I'm sure my mom is also the fucking phone screen background of somebody else out there too. Yeah, I know, right? It's crazy. It's so <laughs> riveting. Oh my god, so riveting. Yeah, he got you good. <laughs> what the? Oh, oh, oh my god, it's so fucking classic. <laughs> Listen, I think the main, I think the main theme of this episode should be that. There's a lot of folks out there that are hurting and hurt people hurt people you know so if you're hurting out there and you have suicidal thoughts <laughs> there are a lot of resources out there to reach out to you know remember that you're cared for you're loved for <laughs> and uh you know there are plenty of therapy lines out there that everybody <laughs> to just you know don't <laughs> This was a very therapeutic episode, you know. Um. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Dude, that's impressive that you could do that with your mouth. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I'm a ventriloquist. That actually came out of my asshole. <laughs> I have a mic back there. That's the first time I've laughed all day. Oh, dude, that was funny. Yeah, listen. Lexapro's a bitch. <laughs> I get it. Lexapro sucks. And Adderall is king. Yeah, Adderall is great. I got to pick up my script tomorrow. Uh, so that'll be fun. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. I love you guys. Oh, I all love right. you too, Stevie this Lou. This is the first tap. We were able to blend it together, though, right? It's all going to be the same stream. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'll figure it out and post. It's all and... Blends, That's awesome. Yeah, one together, like one fever dream. And again, I I really apologize to everybody. Uh, it's definitely all my fault. Don't blame Stevie Lou you or could... Ski Mask. <laughs> You I could, like the way you've been titling the episodes too, because uh, I never used Spotify, but I was on there earlier searching for something, uh, and I typed in Kevin's name, and it was like the fifth or sixth one down because his name was mentioned. And well, however the fuck you did it, Sad oh, Chat okay. was on there. Cool. And I'm not subscribed. I'm not subscribed to Sad Chat or anything. It just popped up whenever I typed his name in. So awesome. Yeah. So uh, there's also that's a good. It's a good. You know, shout out. Do we have a uh, audio only version? It's on Spotify, uh, Anchor FM, all that shit. So, iTunes, everywhere. ITunes. Yeah. Go check yeah. it out. And if there was, if there was any issue with the feed, people can literally watch this show backwards, and it's still entertaining. You know, like you watch it in reverse, like a Twin Peaks fucking episode. You know, and it still works. So we're okay. Yeah, yeah it's definitely yeah, not yeah. chronological order. Right, right. Where's right. that? Stu oh my God! Speaking of that, that fucking show they do. Ooh, watch it in any order, whatever Netflix. That show sucks. I watched two episodes and wanted to hang myself. It's a very vague description, but uh, what show? Know, it's it's the only show on Netflix that you don't watch in chronicle or whatever the fuck. <laughs> what and of course, that? wait, what was that word? Chronicological. <laughs> yeah, he nailed it. Nailed it. Is it friends? Is it friends? It no, it's not friends. friends. <laughs> I loved when uh, Florentine ragged you about friends. That was Dude, classic. And you, you shut it. I, I do. I was laughing my balls off because I was like, "Oh, here we go, Stevie. You fucked up now." <laughs> you, I did you, fuck up. You were you were great at backtrack. You know, like it was. Perfect. I'll eat my shit. And then listen, I do have to say that I really believe that like season one is pretty funny and good, and then it starts to just to, to plead a little bit. 
to like season three and then it's no good. But I'm telling you, man, there are some shining moments in season one, especially, and then some season two and season three. And finally, I'll say is that the ladies are all- <laughs> Thanks, the ladies-, thank you. <laughs> ladies are all super hot. I know. The ladies are wild out there. Don't, I don't worry. I want some really, yeah, Kaleidoscope. I don't even know how to pronounce the name of the show, but that's the name of the show. Kaleidoscope. Uh- Kaleidoscope. Oh, okay. Kaleidoscope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kaleidoscope. It's got that dude from uh, Breaking Breaking Bad in it, and it's the dude, the the acting. It's just so over the top. Shout out uh, to what's this word? The... Uh, what's this word? Ski mask. Anti-establishment oh. maritime. Nah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <What? you, bro. laughs> yeah, Nailed it. Uh, shout Listen, out I'm wearing a ski mask, man. I, I don't think that's an excuse. I look for numbers on the Galactic. Crimson codes. goes 13 for figuring out uh, the riddle that is Ski Mask. I, c- I couldn't figure out what the fuck I think you're about. our Bob Levy. I think we need to have oh. you read all the super chats and everything. Hey, I, I want a do- spelling bee <laughs> in the fourth grade, <laughs> asshole. Smoke well, cigarettes. I got a beautiful wife. I would love to read all the chats. That's what I'm here for. You need to get you uh, a zipper jacket and you know, <clears throat> you're good to go. Zipper jacket? Yeah, I mean, you haven't seen Bob Levy in the last like two months? three months oh, and he just the, wears oh, this like jacket. it's a hundred zipper jacket it's awesome i love it i can't have that many zippers yeah. just stash those drugs in, in japan <laughs> and misplace your drugs too easily if what uh, pockets it in uh, are we gonna we wrapping it up boys yeah yeah we're about we're getting close you got something to do no i just wanted to plug yeah i'll let you i'll let Let's you get plugs. some plugs dude you better relax with your plugs you need some hair plugs oh shit why the white podcast oh that was the wrong one you should maybe make it like a fucking graphic if actually someone wants to make like Stevie's plugs and have my bald head with the uh <laughs> with the lyric with the with the um text. Dude, why don't you get an eight ball tattoo? Yeah, why don't I, bro? Why don't yeah, I get an eight tip ball of your dick? And get dead. Get an eight uh, ball of coke and then go get a big eight ball on your head. Dude, I used to be a I'm a big boy. I used to be a two baller, you know what I'm saying? No, yeah, of course. Yeah. Well, I mean I used to be a four dare. <laughs> As in a binge. <laughs> <laughs> I love uh, just, just the way he laughed. He, he, he goes, I've been, there, I've been there. Too. Yeah, that's when you're peeking out your. your, your who's outside? Who we just released a new episode of my podcast. What's it called? Blunt smokers. I wasn't asking you. You know it. This guy. It's, blunt, it's blunt smokers. <laughs> blunt he pointed smoker to me. What? On the screen, well, you pointed to me. Yeah, I know you got to point up. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, on the on Zoom, it's over the left, but on the screen, he's up. Smoker video is my podcast. So yeah, that's what I said. Blood smoker video. Good job, buddy. Uh, Blood smoker video on Spotify. We just put out a new episode. The episode we go over Swiss Army Man, which is an incredible movie by the Daniels, starring Daniel Radcliffe. Did he invent the uh, the Swiss Army knife? It's it's honestly, bud. I don't think this movie's for you. It's a little <laughs> oh. intelligent. Out oh, there. oh, hey, I watched oh. an intelligent movie last night. Ooh. You like stuff that's shiny, and <laughs> fucking loud noises, Ooh, jingles like keys. Uh, I can jingle my keys in front of this guy. And he loves it. <laughs> but then he's usually thinking that he's like, "Oh, can I sniff some blow off of those?" Yeah, let's go to the. Well, yeah, I mean, you're gonna use those keys for something, right? Yeah, you can open up the closet to all the blow. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, we did this movie called. Uh, Swiss Army Man. Oh shit! Is this oh, it's me? Swiss Army Man, and uh, it is uh, the director of that new movie, Everything, Everywhere, All at Once, which I thought was incredible. So, what's that movie about? That's another one that I don't think you're gonna really like so well. I, that's uh, not what I asked. Uh, it's about the a bunch of Asian folks. Who okay, yeah, I'm, I'm lost already. <laughs> the only one of those I liked was Gran Torino. I thought that was pretty yeah. clever. They were trying to kill him the whole time. Right? No, no, nothing like no. They stole the car. I'm gonna shot him. Uh, yeah, he so, was. He was yeah. saying it's an accurate portrayal. Is what, what he was saying of Asian Americans. And then we got to get everybody to check out that Husey interview. If you haven't, check out Insufferable Bastards on Saturday. Everybody, go to DabbleCon if you haven't signed yeah. up and got your ticket for that. That's next weekend. It's gonna be a good time. And uh, can't that's wait it for me. No, right, I'll go. Uh, Kevin Dumbfuck, uh, Why Do I Podcast, uh, Why Do I Pod on Twitter. And uh, the, I got an interview that I did with the great Vinny Paulino that's premiering tomorrow morning. It's got a lot of stuff about DabbleCon and Vinny's starting comedy, how he got you know hooked up with Carl, all that shit. So if you're interested in that universe, check it out tomorrow morning. That is nice. tomorrow morning. Nice. <clears throat> 
ladies and gentlemen, go follow at Stancil Jim on Instagram. He's having a fucking blast in Vegas. He's been going live, taking questions, request. If you see him go live, request uh, to go live with him. Entertain the man while Victor makes his calls. Speaking of which, uh, we'll try to get in touch with him this weekend uh, as far as SMC. But if not, I'll be planning uh, to do at least something to put out there over the airwaves at Ski Mask Collective, of course, on Ski Mask Media YouTube uh audio everywhere you know how it works patreon.com slash ski mask media with the extra content constant constant content constantly being released and good content folks not where we're just looking into a phone and reading your comments we only read the clever ones <laughs> right. all right uh look i don't have glasses on either so ski mask collective.com get your ray towels get your sad chad show shirts i'm telling you i got guys working around the clock in my inventory room they're working right now their hands are bleeding putting these shoot shirts together i mean they're flying off the fucking shelves so get those things what, what are you gonna what are you gonna spend the money on uh, lotto tickets you can have sad chad shirt and let everybody know that uh this, this i mean this show is just taking over the airways folks next thursday 6 p.m we'll be back with of course more sad chad news as the week unfolds see you